Okay, another Glade devlog. Let's see what I have done since last time. For testing purposes, I've made all the dialogue much shorter. So let's just talk to this guy. Here's a chopper. And we get this uh, chopper unlocked screen. So every tool when you unlock it will get this screen and it shows an image of the tool and then just some text press E to continue. Uh, this is not the final version. I think this completely white screen out of nowhere is kind of uh, jarring. So I think I will change it to something else, but this works for now. So now we have the first tool, the chopper. And if we go and chop down a tree, you see that? You see that little impact bounce that the tree has? That's a completely original idea by me. I did not steal that from anywhere else. And it makes it a lot more satisfying to walk around and chop down trees. Also, as you might notice, the inventory only shows the items that I have in the inventory. It used to show all possible items and then just show the number zero if you didn't have any. But now I made it so that it doesn't show at all if you have less or equal to zero. Now that I've collected some seeds, I can show you uh, another thing I have updated with the game which is the seed planting view or whatever you like to call it. You now have a hand that's actually holding the seeds. And then I can go and plant them like so. It feels a lot better, I think, to actually see your hand holding the seed and kind of wiggling around. Uh, well, it's way better than a floating object in, on the screen. And I switch between holding seeds and holding my tools with the tab button. No more right clicking to plant seeds and left clicking to uh, use the tools. That was kind of confusing and very different from other games. So I just made it make sense and just switch with the tab button. Now let's take a look at the rock drill. Driller unlocked. And there it is. And now I can go and get into the market. Okay, now here comes uh, one of the biggest updates, or probably the biggest. Uh, when I talk to this guy, I get the hammer. And this hammer can be used to edit the decorations on in this glade. If I walk up to that and buy that, I automatically equip my hammer and I get my other hand that I previously used to hold uh, the seeds. Uh, that hand is now holding the item that I'm gonna place and so I can place that item and let me just go and buy this one as well place them next to each other now if I have any other tool I cannot interact with these in any way but if I have the hammer and I look at it it highlights and I get some controls in the bottom of the screen if I just look at it, it says pick up and scrap, left click, I pick it up like so. And if I press scrap, I smack it and I get all the resources back. But if I press pick up, I pick it up and then I get some different controls, which is place, reset and rotate. So rotate has been moved to the Q and E buttons and you place and reset with the mouse buttons. So I can place it and that just places it just like you assume and if I reset it if I pick it up and then go over here and then reset it that just means I want it back to where I grabbed it from so if you accidentally grab something that you didn't intend to grab you can just reset it so this whole editing system is uh, very overhauled and it's now bound to one of your tools which is the hammer now I'm gonna go over to this hidden corner in here and talk to this barrel <laughs> Whacker unlocked and this whacker is the latest tool that I have made That's how it sounds uh, and it's to get rid of these So now you can actually get rid of the weeds and you get these virus looking weed balls as of right now I can't actually do anything with the weeds, but uh, they are there and they're in my inventory and I will start implementing flowers and flower seeds and stuff that you can buy for the weeds very soon. So my next focus is gonna be bringing functionality to the decorations and also making the flower system in the game.